Hey guys, so I want to share with you um, an illustration of why, yet again, I consistently describe the definition of health as your appearance and your performance. So we need to do a better job, and I'm including you because I think I'm almost just about ready to give up on conventional health care and physicians. Even those that are in the social media space, they still don't get it, you know, they may be pushing plants, they may be pushing meat, they may be pushing fruit or a combination of both. But what we need to find is what the heck do we got to follow to get better? And it's not cholesterol. Stop talking about cholesterol. I think it's a mistake even if you are in the social media space and you're, you are practicing uh, and speaking out against cholesterol, it's a distraction. Stop talking about it. Let's talk about things that are better to follow. First of all, it would be visceral fat. But this video today, I'm going to be talking about other markers that you can be following that are a consequence of visceral fat. So maybe you can't afford to get an MRI. And you know, my reaction is as, it's because something else is more important to you. Your car, your bank account or something. It's your health. So one last chance, maybe I can teach you a marker. If you just won't do an MRI to check your visceral fat, then this is another marker you can pay attention. It becomes a proxy because I have found that people have a lot of visceral fat have this. It's very interesting. We'll get into this particular biomarker, but it deals with the appearance of your abdomen. Okay, so it's kind of like a poor man's test for visceral, the influence of visceral fat, the influence. Okay. So maybe you have visceral fat in there, or maybe you had it for a while or, but this will show you if you've had suff you've suffering from the presence and influence of visceral fat. Okay. So what it is, is an admin. You lay down on your back. Okay. Flat like this. Do you see these two? These are two different images. Okay. Uh, one is a recent client who came to me, and when he just simply laid down, do you see how his abdomen is scaphoid? Okay, so what does scaphoid mean? It's collapsed. His belly, when he was laying, went down, but it wasn't flat, it's collapsed. My abdomen, this is me, <laughs> my abdomen is flat. Okay, you want to be flat, and you don't want to have your muscle collapsing. See his intercostal, these are his ribs. My ribs are you don't see my ribs because my abdomen is flat. So when you lay flat, you want to have a flat, lay on your back, you want it flat. You don't want it sucking in like, uh, like the vacuum pose. Let me do that. You don't want it sucking in like that. So it drapes, it sucks down. It doesn't really suck down, it falls down. Why does it fall down? This is the important point because the muscles can't hold it up anymore. It doesn't, it, they don't have tone. There's no tonicity. A 15 year old, 18 year old, they have tone in their muscles and it's flat. But if you suffer, and if you're 60, it's not your age, it's health. If you're 60 years of age and your atom is flat, and I'm not talking about you make it, I'm talking about neutral, okay? Not doing anything not trying to make a muscle, it's just flat in a neutral, non-engaged state. Then you have that scaphoid dropped appearance to your abdomen, you've lost tone of your muscles. And then what that also means is you're gonna have a little bulge because your guts won't be able to, if it won't hold it in, um, it won't hold it up, it's not gonna hold it in. What you really want is a flat abdomen when you stand, flat abdomen when you, when you, when you lay down. So. You want this kind of appearance flat. You don't want it to drop down like that. And when I became um, a health conscious physician and I started to become healthy, I noticed I didn't have a, bul a belly bulge anymore. And I, my waist was dropping. I lost all this visceral fat by my MRI scanner. So I was telling patients, hey, um, you know, what you want to do is lose visceral fat. You lose visceral fat, you lose your abdomen. And so I would lay down. I said, this is what you want to look like. And I pulled my shirt up and I, you know, my abdomen was collapsed down, scaphoid, like, like, like this kind of appearance here. 
And I thought that was a really healthy look. But, you know, when I would do that to, to patients, they'd go like this. Yeah, they'd cringe, make this look. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm thinking it's healthy and I'm trying to persuade them. I'm like, this isn't working. Well, what you want to do is if I pulled up my abdomen, pulled up my shirt and showed my abdomen, you want it to look flat. Now I can do that. And I, I give a good example to my clients because all my muscles have got nice, nice tone. I'm 60 years old and um, I got good tone. Yeah. It's not really from working out. It's from being healthy. You, you ever notice an 18-year-old uh, girl or guy? They don't even have to work out. They just look good because their muscles are healthy because they haven't suffered the influence of visceral fat. Now, they will eventually when they get to be older. But if you don't look good and your muscles don't have tonicity, then it's because of the influence of visceral fat, trickle, trickle, trickle over decades destroying your muscles. So let's look at performance right next to it. Hand grips, okay? So you can do uh, use an instrument called a dynanometer. And uh, it's just the way it is. Um, I, I've got, I got it right here, and I wanna, I'm going to show you my dynanometer just for a second uh, so you can have an idea ab about it. And this is, this is it. They're three hundred dollars off Amazon. I don't have any any uh, uh, interest in it, but you can take that dynamometer and do a hand grip and measure how well your muscles are performing. So uh, we took uh, hand measurements, hand grip, and you can just Google hand grip, comma health, hand grip, comma longevity, and read all the studies that are associated with life expectancy with hand grips. And this particular client had a hand grip of 34, and uh, he's 59, so he's one year younger than me. And when I tested my hand grip, it was uh, just a little bit over 70, so more than double, and uh, I'm one year older. So the reason is um, you don't have the influence that visceral fat destroying my muscles. So my, I have good muscle tone, I have good performance. I'm a strong guy for for my age and I perform well for my age. So let's take a look at the culprit, what is going on. All right, so it begins from the influence of visceral fat. So here's my uh, MRI scan. I have like almost no visceral fat. I have a lot of the dark stuff, a lot of muscles, my obliques, my core, my dominus rectus, my six pack. So I, I got nice, nice muscularity, okay? And I don't have hardly any visceral fat. Of course, I'm the visceral fat doctor, so I better not. Who's going to follow me? It's like going to a dentist. If you get bad teeth, uh, you go to a dentist with bad teeth. So uh, my client has a lot of visceral fat, but it's, it's not so much the amount, but also the exposure. So you can have a small amount of visceral fat for a long period of time. That's why you, you got to keep following and tracking it. Like the, the I'm just going to come and say this, the silly people following cholesterol. Um, I was going to say a, a harsher word, but we'll, we'll keep it G-rated here. All right, so let's look at the, the, mu the leg muscles associated with that. So my client has got all these white streaks in his muscle. That's myosteatosis, fatty streaks. So that will go on all your muscles all over, including your hand, how well you perform your hand, how well your chest muscles hold. So you're going to have, you'll be 60 year olds with sagging breasts, okay? If you're a man, your pectoralis majors, your pecs will be sagging. But if you get, get rid of your visceral fat, you can turn it around and restore. I went from that scaphoid abdominal, you know, belly falling down to nice flat abdomen like a teenager. And so, and then my, look at my legs, how much I don't have those myosteatosis, those fatty infiltrates. So that goes in your hand, your, your chest muscles, your abdominal muscles, your neck muscles, back muscles, glutes everywhere. And that fat also invades your prostate and your, your other organs. So you begin leaky urine and le eventually you need, you get, you need diapers because you can't even hold your, your rectal content anymore because this stuff's accumulating because you just been tracking your cholesterol. All right. So let's end the insanity of it. Can you stop following your cholesterol, follow things that matter, you want to look good. You want to perform well. So wrap this thing up. I would consider 
getting a dynamometer. You can get a hand grip meter uh, on Amazon. They sell really cheap ones for like 26 bucks. That's maybe a place to start. And uh, if you got a mon some money and you can afford it way better than um, doing your cholesterol test, get a dynamometer. One of these, these uh, more expensive thing, they're three, $400, but uh, you can track your hand grip. And listen, you, anybody can go and you know, work on those you know, hand grips and get your, your grip stronger. You don't want to do that. Just do that once every you know, three months or something, once a month, and just make sure that your hand grip is, um, is good and it's not falling down and you see where you are. So, you know, Dr. Sean, 71, and uh, you, you want to be, most people, you know, uh, in their six, 50s and 60s are going to be around 40, 40 or 50 or so. But boy, I'm telling you, you get rid of that visceral fat, you start optimizing, then you really significantly improve your health. So how do you optimize? What you got to do? Well, these are my, my strategies and I'll blow them up a little bit. Hopefully you can take a screenshot of those and uh, do them. They're all, first part, are all really pretty self-explanatory, nothing terribly sophisticated. It's the stuff down the bottom there, seven, about optimizing, optimizing your skin, gut skin, oral microbiome, nitric oxide, oxytocin, sleep, sunshine, vitamin D, um, those things. So these are my strategies on Instagram. I have them pinned there, and I have them on virtually every one of my YouTube videos. But if you really want to really optimize your health and you really, you know, you're going to need more help with these. And that's where I, where I come in and, and my team and you can come uh, to Minneapolis. You have to come to Minneapolis and, and work with us because that's where I'm a licensed physician and I practice here. And I'll, I'll have some interesting news in probably a short period of time about another location that will be opening up. But for the time being, it's Minnesota, Minneapolis. So consider coming to work with me. One thing, don't show up here. Don't call me unless you realize your body is your most important asset. Okay, so uh, I don't want to have any more conversations with people who, you know, probably better off going to Weight Watchers, you know, going and trying something else. Um, but if you think your body is your most important physical asset and you want to optimize your health, and you want to live as long as possible and live as well as you possibly can, enjoying your, your life well into, you know, way past 100, uh, and you want to look good and live well, then perform well, then um, I might be a good solution for you to consider working with. So you can get more details about that on my website, www.drseanomara.com. You can also get to that just by Googling me, finding my website. And as always, I love doing these videos and interacting with my community, my subscribers. So uh, if this is the first time you've seen that, hit the subscribe button, hit the alert button so you can find out about these videos when they come out. And uh, give me some comments, give me some questions. I like the interaction with clients and uh, that, that I enjoy in my practice, but I like it also with my social media community. So. Give me some comments. Give me some questions. Uh, give me some testimonies. Tell me what's going on. Lots of you, I get very fired up, you know, just changing your whole life by just doing the contents, you know, the suggestions I give out there. So, uh, and then the last thing I tell you is share this with other people so that they have an opportunity uh, to learn about this and this interesting metric and consider stop following cholesterol and following visceral fat, following myosteatosis in your legs. And start with just analysis of your abdomen. Set up a camera, you know, so that it's 90 degrees to you, lay down, and set it on timer. You can track it if you're by yourself. So, you know, you got 10 seconds, go lay down. And don't blow it out. Don't suck it in. Don't try to hold it. Just lay there and see what happens. You know, what do your muscles naturally want to do, okay, without engaging? All right. Well, uh, if you like this video, give it a like so that uh, it gets it reaches more people. And also so Dr. Sean gets a little encouraged, too, because these are hard to do. And uh, so I, I need some encouragement, too. All right. Well, you guys crushed today and we'll see you on another optimizing video. Dr. Sean out. Shh.